guys this is Kadir welcome to my mind Tracy YouTube channel today I'm going to talk about the creating web page using div we could use table for web page design but there are some advantages using div over tables obviously div design is modern and new method for you developing web pages for div design we must use CSS we can write CSS in external file and icon and integrate into HTML. This helps to load page fast and we can use globally. The main advantage of this div is that its performance is issue. When loading the site, div loads very quicker, also it offers more control over tables. Div design is search engine friendly and also it helps to keep code cleaner and this is easy to maintain. In div design there are some disadvantages also. Designing with div is bit difficult for new developer. Designing with div is bit difficult and takes more time. The developer must have good knowledge on CSS and using tricky CSS. Don't worry I'm here for you. Today I'm going to write some base structure of HTML using dev and CSS. Now I am writing doc type for new HTML file. HTML right. Okay, these are all basic structure of HTML. going to write some CSS I have defined padding 0 fix, margin 0 and auto. This is a margin 0 and auto helps to keep the page center in the browser window. Next, I'm writing In this lesson, I am going to use HTML tags, uh, I mean header, footer, assign, main, header, side, and main. Okay. Then display block. Come up further. You know, return with hundred percent height seventy five pixels, background color, margin 
and padding 0 fix for header and footer now I'm going to add header The position fixed property helps to fix the div block in fixed location in window. Assign I assign the top equal to zero fix so that the div float in top position. I'm writing header h2 for title title of the block I'm writing position fixed as header so this footer will float in bottom position always Now I'm writing a side for left and right panel. In aside, I return in aside, I have written a new property a property float. The float left an element can be pushed to the left or right, allowing other elements to wrap around it. Float is very often used for images, but it's also useful for leveling the page. I'm writing clear float. This property will help to clear the floating uh, CSS which is written in previous style next I'm writing end this section for canton with time 59% okay I have written enough CSS for layouting structure of HTML page now assign header header h2 header then I'm writing aside for left panel okay I will write this in H2 now I'm writing main for content Now I am right now I am writing aside for right panel I am inserting one div block 
to clear the previous float style. I have completed all the main structure of HTML page. Now we will check how this is displaying in browser. Submit Google Group. We got more or less all the structures, but there is some minor issue in the side and the middle content not displaying. Okay, I will check on it. Okay. Okay. Um, Excel for a side. Excel for a side. And content also. I will check this to go. Wow, nice. I have done basics collection of HTML page. Then we can include any content or design within this base skeleton. This is a fully designed and also this is a fluid layout. I hope you learned some about div based design today. If you have any queries and doubts, please write me an email to help at myinterstreet.com. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye.